Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today, I'd like to pray for your business, whether it is a new business, whether it is a business that needs a kickstart, whether it needs a boost of prosperity, whether it needs success, whatever it is, maybe it needs to be prosperous, no matter what it is, or you need growth, or you need to make certain decisions at this time, I want to pray for your business that God will bring about his blessings. Now the Bible says according to Proverbs 10 verse 22 to 24, it says the blessings of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. To do evil is like sport to a fool, but a man of understanding has wisdom. The fear of the wicked will come upon him and the desire of the righteous will be granted somebody say hallelujah the bible also goes on to say in psalm 121 verse 1 to 2 i lift up my eyes to the hills where does my help come from my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth and according to proverbs 16 verse 33 the lot is cast into the lap but it's every decision is from the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. I'm here to declare to you that God wants to help you, but you have to lift up your eyes to him and ask for help in every area of your business, not just your life, but in your business as we're praying pertaining to businesses. God wants us to acknowledge that whatever project we're doing, whatever tenure we are applying for, whatever it is that we're trying to sell, whatever we're trying to launch, whether it's a new business, whether it's an existing business, whether it's a marketing initiative, whatever it is that you are doing, whatever it is that you're doing for the Lord, as you also bring your business under his umbrella, we must come to him and ask him with strong prayers of guidance and prosperity. See, when your business needs a boost of prosperity, you've got to ask the Lord to open your mind, to open your heart, to recognize those new opportunities. When you're looking for success, we don't do this because we're greedy, but rather we are doing this to sustain ourselves, sustain our family sustain your future but also god blesses us so that we can be a blessing to others so whether your business is going well whether you see it in growth or it's stagnating god wants us to come before him to ask to bring those opportunities to bring in those customers and also ways of expanding moving forward so we need to look for potential we need to ask god for wisdom clarity to recognize what is in the future what is in the next quarter what is in the next year whatever it is whatever you are facing today we are here to pray so heavenly father in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ we come before you today through the blood of your son jesus christ as we come to your mercy seat today asking for mercy in a time of need we thank you that mercy speaks better things than judgment we take on today the blood of jesus christ as it washes us and cleanses us forgive us for any bad business that we have done before we ask for forgiveness for the times that we have not consulted you pertaining to business partners pertaining to business tenures or strategies or new businesses whatever it is but today we consult you and we ask for your holy spirit today to come and consecrate us to come and consecrate our endeavors so lord that you will receive all the glory we call upon the holy spirit to help us also execute new initiatives in every way that will bring honor and will put a smile on your face lord we know, Lord, that we cannot do anything without you. We are powerless except through Christ 
who strengthens us. But Lord, we pray that you would give us the necessary assistance to accomplish your will, whether it's in the marketplace, whether it's whatever business, whatever area that it's in. Search us, O Lord, and remove anything that would be a hindrance, Lord, from us for fulfilling your purpose and prospering in Jesus' mighty name. We know the blessings of the Lord come from you and it comes without sorrow. So Lord, I pray it's not by our might, it's not by our power, but it's by the power of your Holy Spirit. So we pray, Lord, that you would anoint us to be businessmen of integrity, businessmen that the anointing will be upon. You will bless the work of each person's hands. Bless our hands, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from sin, Lord, that we may execute whatever it is, the new project, the existing project, whatever the growth is. We pray today. We commit our works, our plans, our cares of this business to you today, and we entrust them wholly to you. Since you are effectually at work in us, we pray, Lord, that you would cause our thoughts to become agreeable with your will so that our business plan shall be established and succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. We submit every kind of wisdom, practical insight and prudence which you have lavished upon us in accordance with your riches and generosity in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we declare also an anointing to come upon each new business, each new office, each new area of business, whether it is in the internet, whether it is in a freestanding building, I pray that you would anoint that premises right now also in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we affirm that we will obey your word by making an honest living with our hands so that we may be able to give to those also in need in your strength and according to your grace, Lord, that we'll be able to provide for ourselves and also our family. We thank you, Father, for making all grace and every favor and earthly blessing come to us in abundance, Lord, that we may have all sufficiency and abound to every good work around us. Lord, we pray that our business, it shall be our passion and we want to succeed in all things, but we commit it into your hands and we ask for your help to run what we need to do effectively. Give us wisdom, to recognize and accept change that may await us. Lord, we pray today as we speak forth your words that you will give us comfort even when the trials come. Lord, let us be patient. Lord, grant us the knowledge in things that we do not know so that we may serve those who are our clients, who are our customers with a heart of joy and peace. Shine your light upon us so that even people will be drawn to come to our businesses, no matter the tribulation that one might be facing. Lord, I pray for new opportunities because we have faith in your guidance and we ask you to give us strength and to work through our hands to make our business prosperous and all abundance. Lord, I pray that you reveal those new opportunities of expansion, of development. Bless our business, help it grow, flourish, create in us new ideas. We ask for your grace and guidance to build and to grow our business. We put our trust, Lord, in you, but in our hands you have promised to bless. And Lord, what you have given unto us shall be blessed. Lord, bless our business, our suppliers, our customers, our employees, whatever it is, bless them. Every investment, every enterprise, bless it, Lord. We ask you to continue to lead us and guide us and to advise us. Lord, we pray that our journey Lord, that we'll also be generous and fruitful and successful in all we do in Jesus' mighty name. Help keep us free from the love of money and help us to be content with what we have. We know that we will never leave, Lord, those things because we love you and you will never leave us or forsake us. We know that, Lord, that in you, you are love. 
Therefore, we will rely on your love to help us and to bless us because in blessings will all come from you and will overflow from this love for you. Help us to be strong and take heart and wait upon you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being good and a refuge in times of trouble. Thank you for caring for us Lord, as we trust in you and that you would supply for all of our needs, we remain confident in this, that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Lord, God bless us and each person listening. Lord, to those that go in and those that come out, those blessed in the city, those blessed in the country and rural, wherever they are, let them be blessed today. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. God, please supply every need of ours according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. God, help us to submit to you and help us to have peace with you. Thank you to that peace that will come from that. Lord, you said, be anxious for nothing, but in all things through prayer with supplication, let our request be made known to you that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. We surrender every burden, every care, every need, every situation. Lord, we know that you alone send prosperity and wealth. And we know that you humble and you exalt. Please exalt us during the right times and exalt our business so that we can exalt you and bring glory to your name. We thank you for your unconditional love and guidance in all matters of business life. And we ask that you would lead us to opportunities, that you would bring us to prosper and to succeed. We ask that you would open our minds and hearts to receive your wisdom and the love and energy and drive that is needed to follow your signs and instructions. We ask that you would make our path clear, remove every blockage, remove every hindrance. I come against all witchcraft spells, hexes, vexes that is coming against any business right now that is being targeted right now. I declare today they are null and void and destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever their name or photo has been placed on any unholy altar, let it be destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. So I ask that you would clear the path. Lead us through the waters. Lord, that you said that we will not be wet, we will not drown, we will not be burnt by the fire, so that we can learn to also make right decisions. Lord, we look to you to open the doors of opportunity, success, growth, prosperity, and wisdom to love and appreciate your plan for business within our life, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. We thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. Because in you and through you, we have success in every way in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare today that we will succeed. Lord, please continue. Continue the plans to prosper each person's business, not to bring harm, but Lord, that you would have a future and hope for each person today in the name of Jesus Christ. It is your will that by doing good, we silence the talk of ignorant people. Help us to always do good in Jesus' mighty name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Dear Lord, we pray also that you are not slow in keeping your promise as some understand slowness. You are patient with us. Therefore, help us to be patient in your will, especially pertaining to all areas of business. Help us to seek your kingdom first and your righteousness, and then everything else shall be added unto us. Help us to persevere to do your will, God, that we will receive what you have promised for us. Lord, that we may have many plans, but we know that you will direct our paths, that you and your purpose will prevail in the end upon each person. Come and bless them. Come and touch them. Release your anointing, your favor upon them. I speak favor. I speak breakthrough. I speak breakthrough. I speak open opportunities. Even as they've listened to this prayer, let good things come to them because we speak to those things that do not exist as though they do today. I speak today blessings, favor, 
Lord, as we glorify your name, as we lift up and praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says when we lift up the name of Jesus, it will draw all men unto himself. As you lift up the name of Jesus, all people will be drawn to your business in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And as the Lord tarries in his return, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May his grace cover you and his peace shall be your portion. His shalom. Hallelujah. If you've liked this prayer, listen to it more than once. Play it in your business. Play it in your office. Play it in your homes, wherever you're doing business from, whether it's on the internet, in a shop, in a business, on a field, on a farm, wherever it is, God will prosper you because he's promised to bless us. And there shall be an open heaven of blessings come upon you as you faithfully serve the Lord and you remember him in all your exploits. May the Lord bless you. If this been a blessing to you, may you bless someone else and forward it to someone that also can bless them and their future endeavors in Jesus mighty name. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Follow our free website, repentancerevival.com. May the Lord bless you and keep you. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you to prosper in all your business. Shalom, shalom, shalom.